What? Gavin still hasn't called yet? No. He went to LA for pilot season with this cute seed partner that, that he, he swears, swears he's, he's not, not sleeping, sleeping with. with. You should not date actors. Who else am I going to meet? You met that cute guy, Henry, today, and he liked you. He did not like me. <laughs> okay, yeah. He did like me, but he is a trap. There's like 300 of them in every hometown. Nice, regular guy, unpretentious. You go out on a date with him, and then 10 years later, you wake up with six kids, a fat ass, and ugly pink sweatpants. <laughs> you like him. You really, really like him. I do not like him. What are you going to do when he calls? He's not going to call because nice guys don't call me. Just selfish actors who screw their scene partners. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do about Rachel? I say we go full bore SWAT team and break up Caitlyn and Tony. Okay, no more wine for you. No, I'm serious, right? That's what Will Smith or Matt Damon or any of those hot action guys would have done. We sneak into the compound, we bust stuff the hell up. What are we supposed to do? Disguise ourselves as German officers? Exactly! Okay, what the hell are you talking about? I'm saying we dress up like the enemy, bridesmaids. Caitlyn already has bridesmaids. Okay, well, the two of them just have a little accident. Harper, if anyone deserves to get knocked down a couple of pegs, it's Caitlyn. Rachel had one thing she loved in life and Caitlyn took it from her. Are you really gonna let her get away with that? Do you really think we can take down Caitlyn? I mean, how are we gonna stop this wedding? Because we can do anything. Why? Because we are a couple of sophisticated babes from New York, and as Miss Olivia would put it, you girls are just a little too thinky. Oh, I'm starting to like this. Caitlyn is going down. Yes. The thinky girls are back. Yes. To love. To Rachel. To the defeat of the Third Right. Hey girl, you all right? I'd be better if they stopped pouring these weak ass drinks. Okay, what the fuck is up? Nothing, I'm just over this day. It's not nothing. You were rude as hell to Justin back there and I have to work with him. Why are you tripping? Oh, so I'm tripping. You're over there acting like I'm raggedy and shit telling me I need therapy when your mess is all over the place. Oh, that's why you've been pissy all night. Because I vaguely suggested you might need therapy? <laughs> Clearly I was onto something. Oh, for real? Like your shit isn't all fucked up? Like I wasn't just distracting your man right after screwing your side nigga. Why are you throwing that shit in my face? I made a mistake, but at least I can see the shit I do wrong. Well, what do I do wrong, Issa? Do you really want to know? Please tell me. Okay, Molly. Have you noticed the common denominator in all your can't find a man bullshit is you? Yeah, let's do a nigga rundown, Molly. One minute he's too thirsty, the next minute he's too distant, and then the next he's too gay. And then when you do finally find someone that you actually do like, you ruin it by doing too fucking much. You act like finding someone is supposed to be some sort of fairy tale, but it's not. You're impossible to please. I'm impossible to please. You can't commit to anything. Did I say shit when you were complaining about your job for five fucking years like you can't change that shit? And you have been on the fence whining about your relationship forever. But did I say a motherfucking thing about that? Oh, shut up, Molly. Most of what you said wasn't even all my fault. You act like shit is black and white. You fucked another man when your man was trying to fix his shit for you. Bitch, you don't even deserve Lawrence. Are you mad because I can actually keep a nigga? Fuck you, Issa.